Hello everyone. In this video we are going to address herpes or sexually transmitted diseases that are of a viral infectionist nature. Um, I just posted a video uh, of my testimony regarding HPV, human papillomavirus, um, which is a, vi a sexually transmitted virus. Um, and so this video may apply to that topic as well. Um, I'll have to link the video, uh, this video in the description box of that testimony video. Okay, so medical definition. It is a viral infection. There is more than one kind of herpes, genital herpes or fever blisters. Herpes infections produce episodes of small, painful, fluid-filled blisters on skin or mucous membrane. Herpes can go dormant for years or into remission, but under stress, they erupt. Under distress, negative stress. Okay, spiritual root cause, or, well, I guess root cause, period. Sexual impurity, distress, anxiety. So, again, it depends on what type of herpes it is and, um, you know, therefore what, what, what root it is. If it's, you know, the sexual kind, obviously it's from sexual impurity. Now, if I go to my other little source here, herpes, it says feelings of guilt, feelings of shame, feelings of anxiety, feelings of anger. Herpes simplex virus, not allowing yourself to be the love that you are. Lack of inner peace, feelings of guilt, shame, anxiety, and or anger. Wanting to speak words of bitterness, wanting to complain royally. Okay. So I think a lot of that applies to the non-sexual type of herpes, but... Um, Alright, relevant scripture... Luke 13, 11 through 12, Jesus cast out spirits of infirmity with his word. Philippians 4, 6 through 8, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding or comprehension, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Okay, ministry. Repent for sexual impurity and anxiety. Um, and regarding the repenting of anxiety, that basically means repent of not trusting God, not trusting in God. Forgive the other person involved and self. Break ungodly soul ties if applicable. And that's regarding... Um, well, it's, it's especially regarding the uh, sexual uh, type of herpes... Um, and that's something else I forgot to mention in my, in my HPV testimony video was that, um, right off the bat when I became born again and was repenting of sexual sin and all of that, um, I did break soul ties and all that. So that, um, I don't know if that played a part, but definitely the repentance. Um, minister forgiveness, love, and acceptance of the, of Father God and exhort them to go and sin no more. Command all cells to come under the control of Jesus and all organs to be healed and cleansed in Jesus' name. Release the spirit of life and purity in Jesus' name. So I hope this was helpful. Um, like I said, um, I think this is not just for herpes, but probably also for HPV since it's also a viral infection. Um, if anyone has questions, you know, feel free to reach out. I bless you all in Jesus' name.